Hi everybody, and welcome to the Getting Started with InstructBot tutorial video series. In this video, I'll be talking about how enable and disable profile commands work and how to create them. Before showing the commands, let's first talk about what a profile is. Profiles in InstructBot are used to control what, if any, commands that are enabled and usable by your viewers. One reason to create multiple profiles is so that InstructBot can automatically update which commands are active as you change between applications. As you can see, the different profiles are linked to different applications. Another reason is to enable you to organize your commands more easily. For example, you could have a common profile which contains commands used by all applications or commands which you always want to be on. You could also have games which have multiple modes. For example, in War Thunder, you may want different profiles in air mode or ground mode. With that in mind, Enable and Disable Profile commands allow you or other users to enable or disable profiles from a trigger. For example, you could create a free trigger for moderators which would enable them to turn a profile on or off, allowing them to control what commands are enabled at any given time. As you can see here, as I switch between the air and tank profiles in War Thunder. This gives you a brief overview of the specifics of an Enable and Disable Profile command. I'm now going to switch over to my tutorial configuration and walk you through how to create commands which will enable you to swap between ground and air commands in War Thunder. Navigate to the Enable commands and press the Add button. You should set the name and description to something appropriate for the command. In this case, I'm going to name the command Enable War Thunder Tank and describe it as Enables the War Thunder Tank Profile. Public controls if other users of InstructBot can download the command. If you want to share this command, toggle it on. The cooldowns control how often the enable profile command can be executed. The global cooldown applies to everyone, whereas the user cooldown is per viewer. For example, if you set the global cooldown to 5 and the user cooldown to 60, the command can be executed at most once every 5 seconds, but a single viewer will only be able to execute once every 60 seconds. As my enable command will only ever be executed by me or my moderators, I'm not going to set any cooldowns. The help settings control if the command is shown with the default help command or a specified help command. As I want this command to be shown in my default help command for my moderators, I'm going to leave use default toggled on. The queue settings control how in what order the command is executed. By default, disable, enable, and toggle profile commands are executed on the same queue in the sequence they are triggered. As I want all my enable profile commands to execute in sequence so they don't overlap or cancel each other out, I can leave it on use default for the standard behavior. The sound effects control what, if any, play sound commands are run at the start and end of this command. I don't want any sound effects, so I'm going to leave this on none. The text settings control what, if any, text commands are run at the start and end of this command. I don't want any text commands, so I'm going to leave these on none. The affected profile screen allows you to select what profiles are enabled when this command is run. As I only want to enable one profile, I'm going to check War Thunder Tank. As the enable War Thunder Tank will only be used when I'm playing War Thunder, and I don't want it to be disabled when I disable the War Thunder Tank profile, I'm going to add it to my War Thunder Common profile instead. As I'm going to want to trigger this and my disable war thunder air commands at the same time, I'm only going to add an identifier for testing purposes. In the end, I will create a sequential command to run both this command and a disable war thunder air command. I have repeated the above for an enable war thunder air command, the only difference being the profile it affects and the identifier given for testing purposes. I have then created disable profile commands in the same manner. Again, the only difference being the identifier given and that they would disable the profiles when run rather than enabling them. Testing, you can see that the profiles are toggled on and off. This wraps up how enable and disable commands work in InstructBot. If you'd like to learn more, please look at other tutorial videos in this series, visit our website, join our Discord, or subscribe to the channel. Links to both the Discord and website are in the description below.